So today is the feast of uh, St. James the Greater Apostle. Greater, I guess, because he was the first James, there's two James apostles. He was the first one that, that Jesus called. And uh, his brother is John the Evangelist, the apostle too. And uh, Zebedee is their father, uh, also often called uh, the sons of Zebedee or the sons of thunder. And I thought about that, I said, Zebedee must have been a screamer, he must have yelled a lot. So sons of thunder. And um, they were, G James was friends with Jesus. And uh, you could say he was in the inner circle. Uh, so with uh, his brother John and Peter, they were the only three that, that Jesus invited up uh, to see the transfiguration. They were the only three that came in to, to the room where Jairus' daughter was. So Jairus was a synagogue official whose daughter had died. And uh, so he called Peter, James, and John into the room with him when he raised her from the dead. And so uh, James was, you know, an outstanding apostle, but he was very aggressive, you know. His mom asked that he and John be put at Jesus' right and left hand. He wanted authority, he wanted a position of power in the kingdom. And uh, so in that first reading from St. Paul, it says something very interesting. And St. Paul's talking to the Corinthians He's also talking to us. He's talking to people that live the gospel message and proclaim the gospel. He says, we are afflicted in every way, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not abandoned. So afflicted, perplexed, and persecuted because we believe in the gospel, we live the gospel, and we're not afraid to proclaim the gospel afflicted, perplexed, and persecuted. The same things happen with St. James, okay? After the resurrection, he went to uh, Roman Hispania, so that's like what we would think of as Spain, okay? And uh, there he was perplexed. Uh, he preached the gospel, but very few people responded. His church, the church there was not growing. And uh, so then he felt afflicted, frustrated, because all of his efforts he thought were in vain, you know, and he was ready to quit. And uh, the Virgin Mary came to him and uh, comforted him, but also assured him that his efforts were not in vain, you know. And so, so somewhat time after that, he came back to Jerusalem, and there he continued to preach the Jeru in Jerusalem for several years and uh, until King Agrippa, it was one of the tetrarchs of uh, the sons of Herod the Great, um, had had so many complaints from the Jewish authorities that he had uh, James beheaded, okay? Uh, and so uh, he was certainly perplexed, he was afflicted, and then uh, in Jerusalem he was persecuted, okay? However, through all these things, um, St. James changed. Uh, he was no longer aggressive. He became very humble, and uh, he became very self-giving. And that's something to think about there. St. Paul says that we're uh, earthen vessels, something very fragile, all of us, but we carry a great treasure. And the great treasure we carry is Jesus in us. And so today, as we celebrate the Feast of St. James, uh, we have to remember that we have to be humble and we need to share the great treasure that we have in us. And we can be confident that Jesus will never abandon us. So be humble and share the treasure.